here we will explore true facts about the Paranthropus. Actually, we will be exploring three different species that all fall within the Paranthropus genus. Paranthropus aethiopicus, Paranthropus boisei, and Paranthropus robustus. Paranthropi, or is that Paranthropuses? I'll get back to you on that. Anyway, they lived around 2.7 to 1.4 million years ago, between the Pliocene and the Pleistocene. So, just a heads up, not a whole lot of video footage of them. They were around just, just a little bit before the invention of the camera. So, a lot of stills in this video. Oh, hey, I looked it up. Turns out it is Paranthropuses. So, there's that. Paranthropus comes from the Greek para, meaning beside, and anthropos, meaning man or human. They're also known as robust Australopithecines. They were bipedal hominids and most likely descended from Australopithecus around 2.7 million years ago. Paranthropus aethiopicus was first proposed in 1967 from a team of French paleontologists who found part of a toothless mandible. However, it was generally thought that a single mandible does not a new species make. So, it was dismissed until 1985 when Alan Walker and Richard Leakey discovered KNM WT-17000. Yeah, that's a name that really rolls off the tongue. Luckily, it goes by an easier name, the famous Black Skull, found west of Lake Turkana in Kenya. It's about two and a half million years old and has a mixture of derived and primitive traits. The black skull had a strongly protruding face and strongly defined sagittal crest on it. Large megadont teeth indicating the Paranthropus aethiopicus had a powerful jaw and strong chewing muscles. And the black skull helped define the Paranthropus aethiopicus as the earliest known robust Australopithecine. Paranthropus aethiopicus lived around 2.7 to 2.2 million years ago, although not much has really been found on the Paranthropus aethiopicus. We still don't know how large they were or if they had any sexual dimorphism, or if they were more closely related to Australopithecus africanus or a Paranthropus boisei. We don't even know what environments they preferred to live in. Paranthropus boisei lived around 2.3 to 1.4 million years ago. Paranthropus boisei is sometimes called the Nutcracker Man because he has the largest, flattest teeth of any human ancestor, or mancestor as they are called, by me, and now by you. Their teeth were four times the size of a modern human's. Imagine eating a burrito, but with teeth the size of quarters. That is how the Paranthropus boisei do. Paranthropus boisei fossils have been found since 1955. But it wasn't until 1959 when Mary Leakey discovered Zinj skull in Old Y Gorge in northern Tanzania that scientists realized it was a new species. Paranthropus boisei is mostly found in former bushy grass areas in Africa. Paranthropus boisei had a fair amount of sexual dimorphism with males standing at about 4 feet 6 inches, weighing about 108 pounds, and females around 4 foot 1 inch, weighing 75 pounds. There is still a lot unknown about the Paranthropus boisei, such as exactly what they ate. 
their jaw structure and nickname Nutcracker Man should suggest that they ate nuts and other hard foods. I mean, it certainly does to me. You know, if I hear someone whose nickname is Nutcracker Man, I can, I can take a pretty good guess at what their favorite snack is. But there is still dispute over what they ate. It's saying that their teeth could eat nuts, but not necessarily that they ever did. And some specimens only had light wear on their teeth, suggesting that they hadn't been eating particularly tough foods. It's also possible that Paranthropus boisei used stone tools, but there is dispute over that as well. Paranthropus robustus also had large megadont teeth with large chewing muscles and a large sagittal crest. The robust refers to its face and tooth size, not the size of its body. They had small, stout bodies. The species also had sexual dimorphism. Males were about 3 foot 9 inches tall, weighing about 119 pounds, and females were around 3 feet 3 inches tall, weighing approximately 88 pounds. Paranthropus robustus lived between 1.9 to 1.4 million years ago. Paranthropus robustus fossils were first discovered in 1938 by Robert Broom in Kumdrai, South Africa. He knew that the fossils didn't look anything like the other Australopithecus africanus fossils he'd found, so he concluded that they must belong to a new species, Paranthropus robustus. Paranthropus robustus fossils are usually found within caves along eastern Africa, which really makes me wonder a lot about cavemen. Bone tools have been found at several South African sites. The tools are presumably used to dig into termite mounds, but we're not sure if this tool using is something shared by all Paranthropus robustus populations, or if it was just regional. There are some things we are still not sure about. And by the way, when I say we, I, I mean scientists, not, not me. Scientists are not sure whether the Paranthropus robustus evolved from Paranthropus ethiopicus or Australopithecus africanus. Just remember, if your teeth were the size of quarters, you'd probably have a really hard time containing your smile. This has been True Facts About Paranthropuses.